Hey there, industrial engineering learning students. Ever wonder how factories keep things running smoothly? It's like a well-oiled machine, right? Well, one of the secrets is MPS, that is Master Production Scheduling. Think of it as the control panel for your entire production process. A MPS is a schedule of the completions of the end items, and these completions are very much planned in nature. MPS is all about planning. It acts as a very distinct and important linkage between the planning processes. It's about figuring out what to build, when to build it, and how much to build. This roadmap helps manufacturers stay organized, efficient, and profitable. Without it, things can get chaotic pretty quickly. Imagine trying to build a car without a plan. You might end up with extra wheels, not enough seats, or a chassis that doesn't fit. MPS prevents these mishaps by providing a clear, coordinated schedule for everyone to follow. So, whether you're making cars, computers, or even custom cakes, MPS is an essential tool for success in the world of manufacturing. Let's dive in and explore how it works. You need to watch this if you struggle with meeting production deadlines. MPS has a few key objectives. First, it aims to meet customer demand on time. Nobody likes waiting for their orders, right? MPS ensures you have the right products ready when customers want them. Second, MPS helps you use your resources wisely. This means minimizing waste, optimizing inventory levels, and keeping your production lines humming efficiently. Third, MPS gives you better control over your production process. You can track progress, identify bottlenecks, and make adjustments as needed to stay on schedule and on budget. Think of a bakery. They use MPS to figure out how many loaves of bread, cakes, and pastries to bake each day. This ensures they have enough to meet customer demand without baking too much and having leftovers. In this chapter, we will discuss the main functions of Master Production Scheduling MPS. Demand Management, ensuring that customer demand is met efficiently. This function ensures that customer demand is met efficiently dot translating aggregate plans. By accurately forecasting and responding to customer needs, you can minimize delays and keep your customers happy. Imagine a toy company gearing up for the holiday season. They need to know exactly how many toys to produce to meet the surge in demand without overproducing. Production planning, scheduling production activities to optimize resources, generating material and capacity requirement. This involves scheduling production activities to optimize resources, maintaining priorities, and utilizing the capacity effectively. Think of it as a well-choreographed dance where every step is planned to make the best use of your machines, materials, and manpower. For example, an automobile manufacturer needs to plan out the assembly of different car models in a way that maximizes their production line's efficiency. Inventory control. Managing inventory levels to reduce costs and avoid stockouts. This function is all about managing inventory levels to reduce costs and avoid stockouts. It's a balancing act between having enough stock to meet demand and not having so much that you're wasting money on storage. Picture a grocery store that needs to keep its shelves stocked with fresh produce. They use inventory control to ensure they have just the right amount of fruits and vegetables to meet customer demand without having excess that goes to waste. Understanding these three pillars, demand management, production planning, and inventory control, can help you master the art of production scheduling and ensure your operations run smoothly. Creating an MPS involves a few key steps. First, you need to figure out what you need to produce. This means analyzing your sales forecasts, customer orders, and inventory levels. Next, it's time for capacity planning. This step ensures you have enough resources, like machines, materials, and manpower, to meet your production targets. With demand and capacity figured out, you can create your master production schedule. This schedule outlines what you'll produce, in what quantities, and when. Finally, you'll use something called Rough Cut Capacity Planning, or RCCP, to make sure your schedule is realistic. RCCP helps you identify potential bottlenecks or resource constraints early on, so you can adjust your plan accordingly. Techniques in MPS Tools of the Trade There are several techniques used in MPS, each with its own strengths. Material Requirements Planning, or MRP, helps you determine the raw materials needed and when to order them. Capacity Requirements Planning, or CRP, ensures you have enough machine capacity to meet your production schedule. 
Just in Time or JIT manufacturing minimizes waste by ordering materials and producing goods only when needed. Finally, the theory of constraints or TOC focuses on identifying and eliminating bottlenecks that slow down production. By using these techniques, you can optimize your MPS and achieve greater efficiency. Challenges and best practices. Navigating the MPS landscape. Implementing MPS comes with challenges. Demand forecasting can be tricky, especially in volatile markets. Limited resources, disruptions and human error can impact plans. But don't worry, follow best practices, start with accurate data, review your MPS regularly and adapt to changes. Use scenario planning to anticipate disruptions and have contingency plans ready. Foster cross-functional collaboration to keep everyone aligned. Let's look at a case study. A leading electronics manufacturer faced frequent disruptions due to supply chain issues. By implementing accurate data collection, regular MPS reviews and scenario planning, they reduced disruptions by 30%. This case highlights the importance of best practices in navigating the MPS landscape. Benefits of MPS efficiency and beyond. Implementing an effective MPS offers numerous benefits. It helps you improve on-time delivery, reduce lead times, and increase customer satisfaction. MPS also helps you optimize inventory levels, minimize waste, and reduce storage costs. By improving your production efficiency, you can boost profitability and gain a competitive edge. Moreover, MPS enhances communication and collaboration within your organization. Everyone, from sales and marketing to production and procurement, is on the same page, working towards a common goal.